Hi everyone, uh, this video is to show you how to use the NICQC sensor. So let's start. So for how to use it, it's very easy. Uh, if you hasn't ever connect a NICQC by your smartphone or tablet before, you need to wake it up first. So the easy way to wake it up is to use the micro USB. Uh, this micro USB that I have provided in the gearbox. So I find the uh, micro USB port to plug in, and uh, another side connect to your adapter all the PC you have, then you can wake it up. And uh, this time, due to I already have connect with my smartphone before, so let's show you how to quick use by uh, through your mobile phone. So uh, first, you have to download the NICQC app from your Android store, uh, the Google Play Store or uh, App Store if you use uh, iPhone. So for example, my, my phone is Android. So I have downloaded the app and uh, just open the app. And uh, in this icon, you can see the inactive icon, means the NICQG uh, hasn't been connected. So just press this icon. Okay, let's show the NICQG has been connected. So that's success. And uh, you will see uh, a warning icon. You can see the yellow warning icon. So that means you have to calibrate this, this new QC again. So take the tail. Uh, that also including in the gearbox. So let's open it. Okay. Open. And uh, tap the this icon. You will see uh, check your NIC QC, every NIC QC device is shipped with a reference trial. Uh, use your reference trial to check your device calibration again against the fragile setting. So let's press start button. Okay, you need to scan the QR code. The QR code is on this, this, uh, this area. Okay, just press the scan QR code. Okay, QR code scan success. Now uh, the final inst instruction is to uh, tell you to put your NIC QC on the tail. So make sure it's put on the center and uh, and also make sure uh, it's because uh, when we open this cover it will lift up a little bit so we need to make sure the button is uh, is flat on the table so we just to uh, to adjust the cover Okay, and uh, put the QC, NIC QC on the, 
on the center. Then press press again. Okay, uh, the following instruction is to tell you need to lift the NQC and then rotate it by one fourth turn. So we just follow in what he tell us to do. So by one fourth turn. Okay. Then press scan again. Okay, we finish. Press the finish button and the, the warning icon disappears. So we can start to measure what we want. Okay, so let me show you some example. First thing, uh, when we measure some color, we want to set a master color to do the comparison. So for example, we, I choose this color chip as a master color. So the master color on this app means the reference color. So we put the NQC on the, this color chip to set up the reference. Then tap this inverted triangle. Oh, due to I previous uh, set another mess card before, so he asked me again. So uh, please ignore. Uh, just press the scan with Nick QC. Okay, then you can see the reference area become uh, a gray dark yellow. Yeah, uh, gray dark color. Uh, that's also uh, reflects the color what we see. Okay, very similar. So that means we have set up the reference. So just start to measure other uh, color we want to to check. So okay, we I put on this color chip to measure. We, when we want to check other colors sample, we just put a scan. Okay, uh, the delta E is 4.05. Uh, due to I set up the threshold uh, is 2.0. So when the delta E exceed the 2.0, uh, it will uh, pop up this warning. Okay, the red dot means uh, exceed the limit. And uh, I can check another color chip. Then also press the scan button. Okay, you can see this time in the this dot is green. That means within the the spec, uh, the spec I, I set up uh, is two. So, and the region is one point zero three. Oh, okay. I extended. Uh, I extended it. Uh, press again. Okay. Uh, that's the easy way to to do the measurement and uh, if we want to see the detail the the data we measured before just press this uh, clock clock icon you can uh, see there are two reference group data uh, the reference one is I measure some other sample before, and uh, the reference to is just uh, I show you right now. So I, 
tap this cell can see the detail. Uh, I'm so you can see uh, the reference to reference to data and the other uh, samples data. I all total scan three times, so have three scan data. Okay. So uh, if you want to export this data uh, to your PC, you can choose this share icon, press it, and uh, use a way to, to, to export. For, for my example, I will choose OneDrive because I have uh, this mobile phone, uh, my smartphone uh, already set up uh, the OneDrive. I can share to companies uh, Outlook, uh, uh, companies OneDrive folder. So when you ready, choose the choose OK. Yeah, that's. Uh, can easy to uh, export the data. And the other thing I uh, want to tell you that we can press this slider, can do some scan setting adjustment. So uh, for I think there are three items that maybe will uh, adjust frequently. Uh, first is uh, eliminate, eliminate and observe uh, parameter change. You can see this, this one. Uh, this one uh, have two options to, to choose. First is D50 and uh, two degree the second is this certify 10 10 degree uh, i have test this two per uh two is two this two item before i can tell you i the reason is very similar so uh maybe this uh, minimum uh, light source uh, degree uh, is also available but depends on what uh, your MPA if they choose uh, dig certify light source uh, maybe you can sync up with your MPA due to in many cases if we sync up we align our uh, measurement condition that will uh, make us easy to compare our data. Our data will more close. So I read a menu. The default setting is D15 to degree. So I just keep it. And the delta E type, you can see the different delta E formula. CIE 76, the, the older uh, formula, and uh, CIE 94, and uh, right now CIE 200 is more popular. So I set up the delta E type is CIE 200. And uh, the delta E threshold is the spec we want to set. We can adjust it uh, to what uh, what we want so okay in my example most uh, spec we discuss with our MPA almost is about Delta E2 so I set up Delta E2 okay that's a setting that maybe you will adjust uh, in the future. Other, other thing, 
I think that's it. Mm, no other thing to need to explain because uh, this Nick QC is very easy to use. So I think you can uh, through uh, my video to understand how to use this device. So that's it.